Hi everyone, uh, this is Octavar Ruin, and uh, this is going to be my uh, quick review of Shenmue 2, which I recently played fully uh, on my Twitch, and you can also see it in this very YouTube channel. So Shenmue 2, um, you know, well, I like Shenmue 1, you know, you're... If you're familiar with Shenmue 1, then uh, you should understand, you know, the gist of what Shenmue 2 is about. You uh, continue your adventures, you go around Hong Kong and trying to uh, get closer to Londi, the man who killed your father. Uh, if you haven't played Shenmue uh, 1, you really should to get the best experience out of Shenmue 2. Uh, so, things I liked about the game. You know, it was more Shenmue, which is really good. Uh... You know, controls were, you know, the combat, very very nice. Uh, a lot more combat than in Shenmue 1. And, uh, you know, it looks really great for the time. Really impressive open world for the time. 2001 is when the game came out. There were some big problems I had with the game, though. Uh, first was, well, I can't really fall this on Shenmue itself, but rather the port. The port was a buggy fucking mess, and, uh, I mean, I couldn't use my controller, because my contr because if I try to use my controller, I try to go to the options at all, my controller would stop working, and furthermore, my, when I was using my controller, I ran the, the chance of any time I was in a cutscene, the game would freeze on me, and there's another issue that I can't quite remember off the top of my head right now, but there were some really bad bugs in the game that really hurt my experience. That just didn't seem to even make sense. Uh, that, and uh, there was some massive pacing issues in the end. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't played it, even though it's a 20 plus year old game by now, but... Uh, the last act of the game is such a... F just takes the momentum from what had happened right before it. Uh, the last act of the game should, in my opinion, have been saved for Shenmue 3. Which I know didn't come out until just recently, but still, it the pacing just did not seem to work out. Um, there were some also other... Um, problems with the story, um, maybe in how you would go and pr progress. There was kind of like some, uh, really weird, uh, comedy-style adventure moments. So one of them, uh, you would have to, uh, seek advice from martial arts masters, but martial arts masters would, uh, refer you to, um, I'm trying to think of the words here, a, um, antique dealer. The antique dealer would tell you that this was something that martial arts masters should know. So that kind of breaks the confusion of why the martial arts masters would do this. Sometimes you have this makes sense, but in sometimes, like in that time, it really doesn't. And, uh... But, uh, otherwise, the, you know, the, another big issue is the voice acting still sucks ass. <laughs> I mean, the voice acting was famously terrible in Shenmue 1, but it did not get better in Shenmue 2. Did not get better at all. And... But other than that, you know, the game plays great. You know, it's got that frustrating moments with those QTEs, but once you get them, you do feel, you know, like you really... You, 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 do, you do get that rush of, yeah... Fuck you at QTEs. Fuck you, boss. So, you know, there there's that positive. And it is a well-told story, pacing issues aside. And some, you know, it's a, it's get to do a kung fu, you know, revenge story. And it and it does that it does tell that story well. So and one last thing I meant to uh, say, I was trying to compliment sandwich this, but Hong Kong has kind of like a mixed feeling to me. On one hand, it is really impressive how huge it is. Uh, but I think it's a little too huge at some times, where in the first game you had this tight-knit community, and everything seemed special, everything seemed to have a place. There was a lot of places that just didn't seem to have a point to them. Uh... Maybe, maybe it's just something I missed, but some of these places just seem to be there for the sake of being there. And uh, there's a lot, a little less charm overall into the interactions with NPCs. There's nobody like Tom, 
who's just so incredibly memorable. Uh, there's Joy, who I really liked, and uh, Ren's okay, but he doesn't he doesn't strike me as someone I'll remember for years to come like Tom would. Joy maybe Tom, but Tom is just iconic in my opinion. Overall, would I recommend this game? Well, if you play the port that I have, it's already on the same port as Shenmue 1. So if you have... So... If you get Shenmue 1, and if you're a big Shenmue fan, you haven't played Shenmue 2 because there was some issues with it being ported to the US uh, and Canada, then if you really want more Shenmue and you haven't played it yet, which... The few of you who may have, because if I remember correctly, uh, the people who bought Shenmue 2 was a tenth of the people who bought Shenmue 1. So if you're one of those people who ha just hasn't played yet, but you played Shenmue 1, I'd consider getting it. Um, but compared to Shenmue 1, I think I'm in the minority of this, but I like Shenmue 1 better. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just that I got a better experience out of Shenmue 1. To someone who's not familiar with Shenmue, it's a very, it's a game that has its age. But if that doesn't turn you off, it is a very important piece of gaming history, in my opinion, the Shenmue games. I would highly recommend that you do pick the pick up that uh, Shenmue One and Two collection on Steam. Um. Maybe get it on sale if you're not on the fence, but it is really good. Uh, Shenmue 1 is really good. Uh, and if you didn't, and if uh, by any chance you don't care for Shenmue 1, then I wouldn't waste my time with Shenmue 2. But if you do like Shenmue 1, go ahead and play Shenmue 2. Really, that's all I really have to say. Uh, yeah, it's good. Um, I don't want to give it an out of ten because the way they do at the way that the way that uh, modern game publishers go out of ten, it really starts at it really starts at seven. It doesn't start at one. But uh, if I were to say one is shit, ten is masterpiece, five is it's okay. IGN would give it a seven. I'd give it a six. Like I said, I liked it. It's just... I like Shenmue 1 so much better. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, tell me why I'm an asshole for saying that Shenmue 2 wasn't that great as Shenmue 1. Whatever, that's okay. <laughs> you know, um... Yeah, that's about it. Uh... I don't really have a haiku this time because I want to save those for the streams. But, uh... If you do want to catch me on streaming live, uh, that's twitch.tv.com slash October Raven. And you're already here for my YouTube, so I won't show my YouTube here. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you for listening and for me with my incredibly rambling nonsense.